Ice, ice. One, two. Ice, ice. Frankie was One, diagnosed ice, ice. in 2016. Within a week, we knew that it was a really rare brain cancer. One of the hardest things is the oncologist telling us that uh, some parents choose not to go into treatment and just go home and call it a day. And that's why I realized like the, the severity of the situation. Many of these patients have many therapy options, but very few of them are successful for any length of time. These families, these children, they don't have time. PNOC was actually formed to bring clinicians and researchers together to do high-risk, high-reward types of therapy for these children. Trying to develop new therapies for children with brain tumors, for which the majority of patients we really haven't developed a good standard. As a community, we, we need to have this strong sense of urgency. The mandate is accelerated discovery. It's not just making new discoveries, but making them often and faster. The first small bit of relief that I had is when we were in UCSF and Dr. Mueller came in. We felt like we were in really good hands with her because she obviously had done a lot of research. The goal in pediatric cancer and pediatric brain tumors in particular is not just to cure the patient, although of course that's a premium goal, but also to cure the patient and allow them to have the long-term quality of life that they deserve, which means we need to find more effective therapies, but we also need to find safer, less toxic therapies. What's remarkable about PNOC is the speed at which they can move, how fast they can keep up with innovation, and how much they value bench-to-bedside research using the most cutting-edge discoveries that have been coming out of labs across the country. They don't have a cure for what he has, but we're not going to give up. And having everybody support us um, helps a lot. He tells me every day, I just want to be my old self. You know, why can't I be a normal kid? Without PNOC helping us, we wouldn't have a fighting chance. It's looking really good now, we're three years out, but knowing that there is this research team studying the brain cancer that he had and other brain What's cancers um, is really this? reassuring to me. Oh, that's my brain! Oh, yeah. Knowing that all the greatest doctors are getting together and talking about his specific cancer and other brain cancers is something that actually keeps me going.